I'm briefly going to talk about the Marketo launch extension built by Bounteous. So Marketo is a widely used marketing automation software that comes with its own lead tracking capabilities. Since 2018, Marketo is actually part of the Adobe ecosystem, so it's only going to be used more and more. So Marketo has various APIs for interacting with their software. Uh, one of them is the Munchkin JavaScript API that allows for tracking page visits and link clicks. And then they also have a form JavaScript API uh, that allows us to convert unknown anonymous website users into known leads, which the, we can then act on in our campaigns. So the, the extension we've built for launch really enables a marketer to manage these uh, tracking activities through the e easy interface of launch. Um, so let's jump into actually configuring this. You can see I'm on the screen for the extension. I have it already installed. Uh, if you were new to installing it, all you really need to set up here is the Munchkin account ID. Uh, you can find this in the Marketo uh, interface. If you go into the admin uh, screen, uh, there's a, a tab for Munchkin. You may have to make sure that the tracking code is enabled, uh, and you can see the account ID right here. Then the next thing we need to do is actually initialize the Munchkin JavaScript API code. So our, our extension provides a bunch of different actions, and one of them is the initialize Munchkin action. All that's doing is really making sure that the connection is established, and then it also uh, will generate a, a visit web page activity for the current page. So essentially tracking, hey, this user went to page XYZ. So the way this looks on our user on our user facing site, if I open my network tab here, uh, I can search for Marketo. I can see that my Munchkin JavaScript code is included. And if I search for a web page, I can see there's a, a visit web page API call being made that tracks that this user went to this page. So Munchkin by default tracks uh, page views only. So now that I've created this rule um, to initialize the Munchkin code on every page, it'll track all the pages that the users goes to. Um, one of the things that would be nice to track is um, non-page requests. So more and more we have single page apps, we have pages that asynchronously load in parts of the site. So the, the APIs that Marketo provide um, allow for part of that. So they allow for link tracking, so custom link tracking, custom page activity tracking. Uh, so let's take an example of this search here on the Wii Retail page. Uh, you can see this just opens up an overlay. If I search for retail, I s I'm seeing my results being loaded in line directly. There's no page request, so me as a marketer, I wouldn't actually know uh, what people search for, but that could be super valuable, valuable information. So what we've defined is a, a rule that really targets this search activity. So let's go into here uh, on search. And what I'm tracking here is, or the, my event is the key press event. So it's probably gonna be a bit too noisy, but that can be tweaked. So essentially tracking every single letter that someone types, we're sending an event. The event we're sending is a visit web page event. Again, that's one of the action types that we have in our extension. Again, by default, this is going to be loaded for every page load, but we can also send this whenever we need to on, on specific events that we have. And, and then what you can configure is the URL that you want to track this under, as well as passing optional parameters. So in our case, we're passing the search query that someone typed in. Uh, and this is based on a data element. So if I open up my network tab again, you can see as I'm searching, there's a search query being run, but also the Marketo API event um, is being called. So ba -ba -ba, search page and our query parameters retail. So now in the Marketo, um, interface, I can actually run campaigns on this and um, do some more with that information. And then lastly, what I want to demo is our 
our exit intent form. So you can see as I'm trying to exit the tab or leaving the viewport with my mouse, a pop-up shows up to prompt me to sign up for a newsletter. So what this allows us to do is convert that anonymous user that went to this page and that searched and that did all these activities, it allows me to convert that user to a known lead with a first name, last name, and an email address, which is then a lot more valuable than just a random web user. So the moment someone fills this out, uh, this actually creates a lead record in Marketo. And the way this is configured is with another action that our extension supports. So if I go into our exit intent rule, you can see there's a form and lightbox action. So we have a whole category of form actions. One of them is the form and lightbox action. So we first have to initialize the, the form API, but then actually calling this form and lightbox is very straightforward. Just putting in the form URL and putting in the form ID. And the rest of the form, like the form fields, form validation, what happens after someone submits the form, all of that is configured in Marketo. So the marketers are already used to that, and the interface here is really straightforward to just load in that form. Um, right, so this creates this form. So let's look into what does that actually look like for the marketer in the Marketo interface. So if I jump over into the activity log for one of the leads, I can see all this activity being tracked, right? I can see the visit web page activity. Again, this is what we called by the normal Munchkin API. And I can also see our custom search events. So I can see here, I have the our web page URL search, and I can see the query parameter that was being passed. So what did they search for? And then the other interesting thing is actually the um, the lead generation. So as I filled out the form, you can see that an event here, a new lead was created with my first and last name and my email address. So again, this is where we have all this activity being tracked before the lead became known, and then also all this activity afterwards. So this really shows um, some of the, the key features of our extension, and it shows that whole user journey of a an anonymous user on a website uh, being tracked both by normal page actions as well as sort of custom page events. And then that unknown and anonymous user becoming known by filling out a form. Um, so this really closes up our, our demo for the extension. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching.